An action-packed evening looms here on EA Sports. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski, ready to call the action. The Eagles can close things out with a win tonight, but how important is it to not think too far ahead, Ray? It's only about tonight, but if you win, you punt them to the curb and you get to get through healthy and rested. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. The quest for Lord Stanley's mug continues right here tonight, and we are underway. Manitoba's got it in their own zone. Nice pass. Stanley's got it into offensive territory. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. The Eagles have it against the wall. The Moose have taken to the offensive attack. Tries, plays it now. Takes the feed. Taken by Salamaki. Slides the puck over. Came up with the save on that play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Glove save, and he handles it with ease. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Manages to hang on. Answered the call on that play. Gustafson's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Sherwood. With possession along the wall. Sends a pass over, and a strong effort on that play. And that's broken up. The Moose have taken possession along the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Knocked away. Manitoba's got the puck along the boards. That pass goes a little sideways. Oh, what a hit! He sacrificed his body to make the play! And he can't hang on after that hit. Colorado's looking to break out. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Moves it to Green. Manitoba's got the puck against the boards. Here's a short pass to Gilbert. Colorado's moving it up the ice. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Still lots of time left in the period. The game is still scoreless. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Shot. No room for that one to get through. Quick pass over to Green. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Bork. Puts it on net. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. The Eagles will play it in their own end. From the left side, takes the pass. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. And that goes off a player. Scrum along the boards. Manitoba's got a hold of it along the wall. Handles the pass from the right side. The Eagles get a hold of the puck. From the neutral zone now. Takes a wrist shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. 
Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Loose puck battle along the boards. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And he regains control of the puck. The Eagles take it along the wall. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Grabs the puck. Manitoba's in transition. Can't find his man. Picked up along the wall by Anderson. Handles the puck. Quick pass to Anderson. Couldn't connect on that pass. Colorado's got possession here in the neutral zone. Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. The Moose have the puck against the boards. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Manitoba's got the puck against the half wall. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Pokes the puck away. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. And he misses. Isn't that just a confidence thing? Confidence are trying to be too perfect. Get it on the net. That's the number one goal. And he takes a shot. That's off a stick. Turn that chance aside. Comrie's made a great save here. That was a dangerous play. Well past the midway mark of this period. Still no score in this one. Manitoba's got it, and they're on the attack. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And he was slowed up. Hooking looks to be the call as the official's arm goes up in the air. Wagner's going off to the box for two minutes. Well, when you stop your feet, you're almost advertising to the official to keep looking. There's the hook. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. It's our first power play of the game. What a great chance to break this scoreless tie. Start with a face-off win. Get the puck to the point and start moving it around before you attack the net. Have a clear plan. He was locked in there. There's always a next level to making a save. Step two is get the puck out of danger. He does a nice job there. The Moose have gained possession off the wall. Harkins takes it along the wing. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denies him! Trying to clear the zone. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, it's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Colorado's penalty killers get a hold of it. Manitoba's gained possession along the boards. Moves the puck along the half wall. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Manitoba's got a hold of it against the wall. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Looking to set up offensively. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Quick feed to tries. They've got numbers. A chance right in front. That's blocked. Centering pass. Drives to the paint. Maintains possession. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Couldn't make that one happen. Nice zone entry from the middle. Keeps hold of the puck. And there's the save. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. That's a pretty good scoring chance. That's a chance the shooter thinks might go in, but the goalie turns it aside. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Still scoreless in this one. Manitoba's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, and he missed the opportunity there. Denies that opportunity. The Eagles take it across the blue line. Knocked off the puck. Manitoba's got it in their own zone. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. The Eagles have been called for hooking. There's certain plays, as soon as they happen, the red flag goes up for the official. Stick goes across the player's waist. He's looking for hooking. The game has become better since they've cracked down on obstruction, Ray. Another scoring opportunity looms here. Well, they've had limited opportunities, but the power play coach now has to get into their ear and give them a little something that will help them crack through. Shot! And the traffic neutralizes that threat. 
Grabs the puck here in their own end. They get it out of the defensive end. The Moose have gained control of the puck along the wall. Gains the zone. Colorado's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. They clear the zone. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Manitoba's got it along the wall. Pokes the puck away. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Moose have possession along the boards. Sends the pass over. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Played big in the moment there. Quick glove hand here. He gets the glove out to make the stop. Getting into the later stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Still tied here as the power play fails to come up with a goal. The only positive for the power play there is they didn't have to skate up and down the ice. They didn't generate anything. They had it in the zone, but really nothing very good about it. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. The Eagles gain possession along the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Jabs the puck away. Let's it fly. Denied by the goaltender. The centermen glide into position. Manitoba's got possession here in their own end. His reflexes on display tonight. Gets a hold of the puck. Manitoba's looking to break out of their own end. Hangs onto the puck. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. They've got the defense outnumbered. Sends it over. Great positioning in the defensive end. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. With the stop. Nice job tying up his opponent. Colorado's across the blue line. Right out front. Great save by the goaltender. Just real smart positioning on that one. Dead center. Excellent save. The Eagles win the faceoff. Here's a shot. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. There's the horn bringing period number one to an end. Still no score in this one. Are you a super fan? Here's your chance to prove it. If you have the best decorated car or home, you could win ringside tickets to an upcoming Second game. period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. Both teams had a chance to recharge, and the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two. Still no score in this one. We'll see if period number two finds ourselves a goal. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Manitoba's going to be hard-pressed to replicate that first period. I thought they had the puck the whole time, James, yet they look up, and it's still scoreless. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Colorado's won the draw. From the point, they take control of it. Shot! He scores!
The Eagles' hard work finally pays off with a one-goal lead in a second. That was a lot of effort just to get to the lead. Now you want to stay aggressive so you don't give it back. Manitoba's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Timmins brings it in. Manitoba's got the puck. It's a two-on-one. Sends it across. Stopped by the goaltender. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. And a solid job tying up his opponent. The Eagles move the puck in the defensive zone. Colorado's got it across the line. Into the corner of the attacking area. Here's a shot, and he went too high on that one. Trying to get it right under the bar, and he zips it up over top of the net. Trying to gain a step. All alone. Denies him on the breakaway. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. The Eagles have it now. Slides it on over to Anderson. Takes the return feed. Great poke check on the reach. Slides the puck to Gustafson. Intercepts the pass at center. Colorado's coaches have talked about stick positioning to us before the game. There's a great example. They've done it all night. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Harkin scoops it up here inside the defensive zone. Colorado's got the puck in their own end. Just a great defensive read there. Manitoba's in now. Here's a shot, and that one stopped. Ah, uh, he'll check his stick after this. He makes the save on a really good scoring chance. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Colorado's ahead, 1-0. Scoops up the puck off the draw. The Moose have taken possession along the wall. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Receives the pass. Makes the glove stop. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. They fight for it along the boards. Ties them up, and it didn't go unnoticed in the eyes of the officials here. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Moose have to deal with two minutes in the sin bin for hooking. I hated taking these penalties. It meant that I was out of position a little bit, and you have to do something in desperation. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. I scored about 25% of my goals on the power play. I made a living on it. One of the things, if you're on it, you better produce, or they're going to make changes. Takes the pass. To the low slot. Traps that puck tight to his chest, and we're going to get a whistle here. More than half the period left to play. 1-0 the score. The Eagles win the draw. Puts it on net. Comes up with the stop. Taken along the wall by Sherwood. With the blast. And comes up empty. From point blank. Stopped by the goaltender. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. The setters will glide into the dot. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Oh, that's a smart heads-up play as he breaks it up with the poke. Big save by the goaltender once again. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Here he is in front. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Who's the puck? Manitoba's on the attack and makes the save. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. 
The Eagles are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and a lead in the second. Manitoba's won the draw. Centering pass. Here's a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Sets up from Gretzky's office. Tries to the sweet spot. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Manitoba's got the puck along the boards. Turn that one aside. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, the Eagles lead it 1-0. Manitoba's won the draw, and they'll go to work. And that's picked off in front. Puck jumped in, and the forwards will head off. The Moose have gained possession off the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Pushes it across to Green. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Eagles move it in. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Takes the feed. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. Sports on the receiving end of this huge hit. Sometimes you've got nowhere to go. More than half the period has expired. The Eagles have taken a 1-0 lead. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Stones them on the one-timer. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Eagles win the draw. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Good hit on the play. The Eagles get a hold of the puck along the boards. With the stop. The Eagles take possession off the faceoff. Takes a shot, and that one's turned away. Manitoba's got it in their own zone. Through center along the wing. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Here he is, shot right in front. Made the stop on that play. McDonald's able to use a really good angle to cut the ice off and he lays a solid hit against the boards. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Moves it to Wagner. Colorado's got it along the wall. Winds up from the point. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Stays with it. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. And that's a great read to pick off the pass. Colorado's coaches constantly work on this in practice, and that's to be in the right position to intercept pucks on the middle of the ice. They've done a terrific job tonight. Parkins has it in the defensive end. Nice pass. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Works it across to Timmins. Steps inside. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Stanley's got it now deep inside his own end. Manitoba's got it against the boards. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Nice zone entry from the left. Burroughs grabs the puck inside his own territory. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Colorado's ready to go on the attack. Comes up with a stop. 
scooped up along the wall by Dries. Let's it rip, denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Nice poke check. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Dano's taking it from his own end. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Eagles scoop it up along the boards. Here's a short pass to Salamaki. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Moving into the attacking zone. Drives it to the crease. Scores! We're all leaving up. It's amazing, isn't it? We played this time, and now it doesn't matter. It's like we're right back at the beginning again. That's a big goal. Bad luck for the goalie, great luck for the shooter here. This has stopped about 90%. Hey, you got to stop 100% of it because now it's in the cage. Manitoba's equalizer comes at a critical time of the game, late in a period, isn't it, Ray? Anytime you give up a goal late in a period, you feel like you've given up more than that. So this is a critical goal. Picked off in the open ice. On the attack along the boards. Takes control of the puck with the steal. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Let's it fly and makes the save. Here in the late goings of the period, we got a tie game. Manitoba's won the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Bork. Takes the feed. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. That opportunity is rejected. The Eagles get a hold of the puck in their own end. Up along the wing. Manages to hang on. Here's a chance right in front. Big time stop. Comrie's been a leader tonight. You don't need a speech. You need to play well. He's done that tonight, and he's kept his team right in it. The Eagles win it. And he slides it quickly to Timmins. Shot from the point. And then carries off a stick. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Eagles have it against the wall. And he totally whiffs on that one. Manitoba's moving it along the wing. Here they are on the attack. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Quick pass to Dano. Chase right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Still too close to call in this one as the second period comes to an end. With hot food and ice cold beverages, now is your chance to join us at one of our many concession stands located throughout the stadium. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away.
40 minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams, and we're ready to go. And we are underway here in the third, still tied. Pokes it away in his own end. And that's broken up. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Here's a blast! And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Manitoba's gained possession along the boards. And he denied that opportunity. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Sends a pass over. Quick feed to Timmins. From center, they get into the attacking area. And now he moves it quickly to tries. And they can't convert to the play! Slides the puck over. Oh, stick craters on him. So disappointing. There's $300 he won't get back. He's not paying anyway. Manitoba's moving it into the offensive end. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Into the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Salamaki. And he regains control of the puck. Manitoba's looking to break out. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Good check, frees the puck up. Now a quick pass to Stanley. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Into the corner. Scores! Now you got the lead, don't sit back. Get right back to the faceoff and try and attack again. Everybody's staring behind the net at the puck carrier. Hey, guys, turn around. The guy that's going to shoot it is standing right in front of the net, and it's in the cage. The Moose have gone up ahead by one here in the third. Nice effort to get the goal. Now you have to push forward to get another one, in my opinion. If you sit back and try to defend, you're inviting trouble. Moves around along the half wall. Comes up with the steal. Handles the puck. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. The Moose have been called for tripping. He's trying to get into position to get to the puck. He takes out the player's feet, and off to the box he'll go. Colorado's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. There have been times over the last couple of weeks where this power play looks great, other times not so good. But this is a key moment in this game, a chance to tie it up with the man advantage. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Eagles gain control of the puck against the wall. Gains the zone from the right side. Here's a chance, and he comes up with it. Sherwood's on the attack in the offensive zone. To the front, he scores! Ah, the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. Play's job is to create shots, and if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center, in the slot, he doesn't miss. Colorado's made this must-see viewing down the stretch here, all tied up in the third. They've had to work hard to get this game even. Now we'll see what they can do as it's a new game. Grabs the puck at center. With possession along the wall. The Moose have possession along the boards. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Moose it to Dano. Trying to get back on the attack now. Stanley's got the puck in his own zone. The Eagles gain possession along the wall. It's a straight-up race for the puck. Great burst of speed to come up with it. And a penalty coming up here as the officials all that as they saw him slow him up. Pretty cut and dry from up here, and the officials saw it firsthand with hooking the call. 
it's a penalty of being in bad position and I think when you impede a player like this they should call the hooking penalty every time another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again when we talked to both coaches, they talked about how important the power play was. What I like about this team, though, they've already scored, and they look like they're hungry for more. Colorado's got the puck behind the net. Across the line from center. Sends the pass over. And the puck leaves the zone. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it over to Sherwood. Receives the pass. Moves into the slot. Scores! The go-ahead goal! Uh, this game has been tight. Now somebody's got a leg up. He's in the bumper position in the middle of the slot. They move the puck around him, find him in the middle, and he makes no mistake. Colorado's up by one now here in this third period. They don't have much breathing room, but I guess it's better to be in front than behind. They'll want to continue to try to forecheck. Puck picked up by Bork. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Eagles will play it from the defensive zone. And now it's over to Dickinson. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Grabbed along the boards by Dickinson. The Eagles are on the attack. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Takes the pass. The Moose have it in their own zone. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Manitoba's got possession at center. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. They go on the attack through center. Here he is from the slot. Stops it with the paddle. Battling for it along the boards. Manitoba's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Bork. Manitoba's on the attack. Here he is in close. Stopped by the goaltender. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Eagles have a little breathing room here, but not much as they lead it 3-2. Gilbert's the victim of a hook penalty coming up. Picked up along the wall by tries. And here comes the judgment from the official. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess. But you already know at this point you're going to sit down. Colorado's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Their coaches that run the power play couldn't be much more pleased than the way the power plays work tonight. James, this has been outstanding as they've been successful time and time again. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves the puck. The Eagles carry it along the wall. To his teammate. Right to the middle. Club save. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. The centermen glide into position. Tries has won the faceoff. And now he tries to get it across to McDonald. From in close, denies him in front. Pomery's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Colorado's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. The Eagles win the faceoff. Takes the shot. Denies him on the play. Comrie's got the puck. Boy, he's been under fire tonight. Been really sharp, and in a close game, you can't make a mistake that costs a critical goal. Draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. 
Huxley down the ice. The Eagles scoop it up along the boards. Through center. The Eagles move to the offensive zone. And he loses control of the puck. And that one's blocked. Made the save on the play. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Gets the puck in deep. The Eagles have it against the wall. Straight up the middle. Here they come. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. He says, let's get physical on that play. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. And he gains the zone here. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Great defensive stick work on the play. Manitoba's got a hold of the puck. Across the line and on the attack. Hammers it. Stops him cold. Moves right to the middle. Denies him again. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. The Eagles win it in the defensive zone. Handles the pass at center. The Moose have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Manitoba's gained possession along the boards. Big play inside the defensive zone. And he handles a cross-ice pass. Into the offensive end now. Battle along the boards. The Moose have gained control of the puck along the wall. Move to the middle. Let's it go. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Steps inside the line. Grabs it in his own end. And it's a quick pass to Salamaki. Grabs control of it at the point. Harkins plays the puck. Salamaki stick handling in his own zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Harkins takes it inside his own end. Slides it across to Gustafson. Great defensive effort with the stick. Moves it quickly over to Gustafson. Quick shot. Makes the save. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Dickinson's won a big draw on their own end. McDonald's got it in the defensive end. Takes the feed. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Maintains possession. Nice pass. And he makes the save. Comrie's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Getting into the later stages of this period, Colorado's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Dickinson's won the draw. Quick pass to Wagner. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, and blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Manitoba's trailing, that's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Fires it down the ice. There it is, the empty net goal, and that should bring this one to a conclusion. Doesn't matter how it goes in the net, you get to score, it's always a fun deal. Oh, now you got a couple of goal lead here with the empty netter. That should be enough to put this away. Colorado. 
Devils added to their lead with the empty netter, and Ray, that's pretty much all she wrote, I would say. Well, you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game, and they pull the goalie, they're going to pressure you. You put it away with an easy one into the empty net. And the puck skips away after that move. Manitoba's emptied the net. The extra attacker's now out on the ice. The Moose have taken possession along the wall. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Great defensive effort with the strip. The Eagles look to start the transition game. Mission accomplished, and they are off to the Stanley Cup Finals. Takes the feed. There's the horn, and they're moving on. They're going to the Cup, Ray. Quick assessment of what you just saw and where they go now. Really difficult series to get through. You've got to get four wins against another excellent deep hockey club. Take a couple of days, relax, get healthy, and then reload because you've got four wins to go. And time for one of the great traditions in all the sports, the handshake here. Even though there are bitter feelings through the series, it is awesome to go through and show your respect to the winners. Well, there's your Clarence Campbell Bowl winners. I used to love the All-Star Campbell jerseys back in the day, Ray. Named after the longtime president of the National Hockey League, Clarence Campbell, this trophy signifies the championship of the West. Now you have an opportunity to go for the big mug. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us tonight.